Um, hey guys, this is me, and I made a couple videos, and you guys must know me, but if you did what I told you to do, go to Xiphone, Z-I, spell word, spell, Z-I-F, no, sorry, just go to Xiphone.org, I'll spell it, Z-I-P-H, zero, Zero, circle N E dot org. I'm sorry about that, but um, so if you have any problems, just remember to leave me comments. I don't have problems because once you iPod hack your iPod touch, you cannot return it or do nothing. You would have to buy a new one because they don't recover that because that was your problem and you did it. So, anyways, I'm just gonna talk through the basics. Um, my iPod touch is hacked. But you guys may not have a hacked iPod Touch because this is going to be for like beginners. So anyway, this is how you start. Well, as you see, there's a button up here. You can't really see it because I have a case. But there it is. Click on it and it goes like this. But for some iPod beginners to turn it... So for some beginners, um, your iPod Touch is going to be turned off. And you're going to have to turn it on by holding the top button until you see the apple sign. And you just wait for it to load. Mine may take a while. Yours may be faster. I don't know. Usually they take about um, this long. Like they'll start right now. But mine's... Um, me and my cousin did something to it. So... Well, anyways, okay, so for you guys beginners, it's not going to show up like this. You're going to have this cable, and if you buy it through the internet like I did, it's just going to have, um, it's going to have, it's going to come with this wire, as you see right here, a clean for the iPod Touch, and just the iPod Touch, so you have to download, um, iTunes, and you have to plug in your, um, you have to plug in your um, adapter to your computer and you gotta open your downloaded um, your downloaded iTunes and it will work from there because it'll show like this plug with the iTunes sign so that you gotta plug it in and turn on your Apple iTunes well as you see that's how it's gonna look after you're done setting it and everything and um, that's pretty much it for you beginners um, if they go, if the screen goes black, um, you just click, well, you know, if the screen goes black or anything, you just click this button right there, right there, and, um, and, um, that's it, thanks.